This 305 million power refunder is about to get zeroed. And if you're wondering what the heck is a refunder in Rise of Kingdoms, this is a part of the scamming series that I covered not too long ago on my channel. So stick around in this video because I've got literally every single rally recorded against this player. I'll show you some of the more interesting ones that took place. And I'll talk about what the heck is this refund scam anyways to make sure that you don't get caught up in it. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and earlier this afternoon, I was minding my own business when somebody tagged me on Discord and said, hey, this guy in Kingdom 2155, they were a refunder, and their kingdom is zeroing them. They've kicked them out of their alliance, and it's time to zero. Why would they zero a 305 million power player? Because for matchmaking purposes, you don't want to have dead power, and a 305 million power player counts as a lot of dead power. Now, I won't get into all the technicalities of exactly how that works, but suffice to say, the kingdom felt it was time to zero this player. Now, this player can't do very much right now. They are not locked out of their account. They can log in, but they can't actually send marches out of their city, and Lilith has clawed back all of the items that this player has refunded. At least that's what I'm told. Now, what is a refunder anyways in Rise of Kingdoms? There were a variety of scams taking place uh, that I've covered on my channel pretty extensively where essentially people would ultimately get their purchases refunded either intentionally or unintentionally. Uh, the intentional way that this would happen is that somebody, you know, calls up the App Store uh, customer support and tries to get everything refunded. But the unintentional way is when a player actually can get scammed. And when a player gets scammed, what happens is um, someone else asks for your account information, potentially logs into your account, um, and then makes purchases on your behalf at a discount. You're giving money to this other person who's making these purchases for you uh, at a discount. You wouldn't know that what they're actually doing is buying full price and then later refund everything, and then you're stuck with your account completely wrecked because everything got refunded. And when things are refunded, Lilith takes back those items, obviously, in the form of negative tokens for all the tokens you were getting. But the weirdness here is that this player already had all their resources open. So they have like over 50 million resources open, regardless of how many negative tokens they have. The kingdom is going to try to take all of those resources, which is really weird because they're like counterfeit resources to begin with. So I don't know, man. It's kind of a weird situation. There are multiple rallies running on this city, and I'll talk for a couple minutes actually later in the video about what I think would be the most optimal set of rallies. First rally is finished, though, a round of rallies, and they've dropped this player by a cool, what was that, uh, 20 million power? So 20 million power is fine, but they actually had to cancel the rallies because a 300 million power player hits really hard, and they are not in KVK right now. So that means that there isn't all the benefit of KVK technology to try to take down this player, which goes a very, very, very long way. Like, it's a shockingly long way. Now, this player has, at this point, 17 million deads. I mean, spoiler alert, they're going to get zero. They're going to lose all their troops. So it's all T5s, and they're going to lose all of them. So that is a large number of troops that are ultimately going to disappear. Um, and overall, I have some reports, but suffice to say that the trade overall uh, when we looked at the numbers, was about 50%. So uh, not amazing. So for every troop that the enemy is lost trying to zero the city, um, this player lost two troops. So in other words, he is getting two for one. That's the easier way I should have said it that way to begin with. So overall, he's getting two for one, and he makes up a ridiculous amount of value, by the way from his area of effect damage. He's using Martell with Esong, and he just completely obliterates some people with Esong. Even though the kingdom is trying to, to do the move where you use sort of one troop armies all around the city to eat area of effect damage. Now, why would you do that? For every target beyond the first, Esong is doing 15% less damage. So that's why they've got all these one troop marches. The weirdness, however, is that if those one troop marches aren't in the alliance of, I think, the first rally to hit the city, then I don't know that all those little one troops are getting hit. You can see they're not getting hit. I mean, there's a bunch of them on the screen just standing there and doing nothing. So 
there's other things you can do, by the way. I guess now is a fine time to talk about it. I like that they chose to have a Pakal rally tanking. I think that's obviously a great choice. But then I actually, I mean, I really like the XY rallies doing uh, damage on top. XY and Nevsky are kind of designed to take down cities like this. We did hypothesize that maybe Nevsky and Mehmed would be a really good choice. And when I say we, Cortex and I watched this entire process unfold over the course of literally like two hours. It took a very painfully long time to zero the city. And it just takes forever to zero a city of this size uh, because it takes many, many, many rounds of rallies. And each rally round is going to have three or four rallies in it, which means you've got to have people moving between alliances to fill all those rallies. It's actually a logistically complex um, sort of an operation here. And I do think multi-rallying is, is a good idea. I'm on board for that, as long as you can keep all those different rallies full, which, again, is not necessarily an easy task. And thankfully, I suppose, for the folks doing the rallying, this particular player is obviously not online. They don't come online at any point during this process. So sometimes time really is a factor, and you need to move quickly in order to even get the zero completed. In this case, they had all the time in the world, because as I mentioned... This account was a refunder account. And because it was a refunder account, I think at some point this player just kind of got tired of playing the account because there's not that much playing you can do. Now you may be wondering, hmm, wait a minute. What playing can you do on a refunded account? Well, that's actually sort of a weird topic. You can still play Champions of Olympia, I think. You can still play Ark of Osiris, I think. I mean, I can't confirm because I am don't have an account <laughs> that uh, was refunded to actually test it myself. But I'm told that people are doing that, which is pretty sus. Like, that's pretty sketch, quite frankly. Like, I, I don't know that that should necessarily be allowed. But that's just kind of where we're at. So, I don't know. Um, refunder accounts I find very concerning for a lot of reasons. Um, a part of the problem here is that now... Oh, God, look at this Joan of Arc trying to swarm. By the way, if you think you can swarm this city for resources, you're wrong. Don't do it. There's no amount of resources you're going to plunder by swarming this city before it's properly zeroed that is going to be worth the attempt to swarm it. I know you don't care about your siege units, but there are better ways to kill off your siege units other than just hopelessly throwing them at a player city. And a player that has... Look, they're trying to swarm with more siege marches now. GG, bro. Those marches are going to get wrecked. They're getting hit by AoE. Even, again, even if the city only has a million troops left, I mean, or or let me say it this way: even if the troop only, even if the city only has a sliver of health left, they have over a million troops left, probably. I mean, it's a three hundred million power player, right? That means that they're sitting on about twenty five million T fives, and by the way, all of those are going to die. They're down to two hundred and forty three million power now. They lost forty freaking million power, big rip. And you can see it's all T fives over here. I mean, they lost about four million troops from when we last looked. It was seventeen million. Now it's twenty one. So. Pretty pretty straightforward there. Pretty easy. Here's the next round of rallies that's on its way. Uh, yeah, there we go. New rallies are on their way here. Get out your popcorn. I think at one point Cortex and I literally took a popcorn break. We were like, hold on. Going to get some snacks. BRB. Uh, and if you want to check out Cortex's channel, by the way, uh, the link will be in the description and potentially also in the pinned comment. Um, I had a lot of fun just kind of hanging out with him, chilling as we were watching this zeroing. Because, man... Zeroing a high power player like this is very uncommon. Um, the, the Obviously, the last time that an account of this size, I think, got fully zeroed that I recorded on my channel. I mean, was it Solomar? At one point, I know that Ticklefist lost like 100 million power. He went from like 300 to 200, which is pretty rough. Uh, but and, and I know McWillem, I think, also went through a similar drop in power where he was getting rallied and then you know is able to come online and then put up a peace shield or relocate and do whatever they need to do to get out of the situation but i can't remember the last time a player of this much power was fully zeroed i got all kinds of videos of people getting rallied at this much power but fully zeroed it i mean for, for obvious reasons this is going to take a very long time to get done and, and this footage, by the way, is at 1x speed so that we can just sort of hang out and you can see what's happening. Maybe I will speed up part of the footage as we go here. As I look now, this is actually, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to have to cut out all of the middle rallies because like 
going from like 150 to um it was like 59 ish million power maybe it was 65 million power when they started just swarming the city it takes a lot longer once they lose a lot of their troops so they're going to lose the most troops now weirdly enough in each round of uh rallies because they have so many troops so they lost 30 million, or I guess it was 20 million at the start because they had to cancel. Then they lost 40 million, and the rate of troop loss is going to go down simply because they're going to burn faster than they're going to lose the same amount of troops here. Uh, and that's one of the weirdnesses of hitting a city of this power. I've always kind of felt like you want to use an XY primary if you're rallying a very, very high power city. I think XY Nevsky makes a ton of sense. And then once you get to the point where they're at like 100 million power, then I think Attila Takeda starts to make a lot of sense for just killing their troops very fast. But when they're so high power, you really want to drop their troop count very quickly. And that's why the high skill damage of XY and Nevsky, I think, is fan just freaking fantastic here. But this Charles Martel gets a lot of value. Why is Charles, Charles Martel going to get value? The counterattack damage is really good here. It doesn't even matter where the enemy is. It's just going to do the extra counterattack damage. I don't know if they had equipment on their Charles Martel. Uh, I suppose we can get a look at some of these reports, which I'll maybe have toward the end of the video, and we can um, look at some of the numbers and see what we think. But now they're down to 213 million power. So they lost another 30 million power. And we are just three volleys in for rallies. Um, yep, they're at 24.7 million dead troops. GG, man. Oh, my God. Uh, the way, by the way, that we, we knew what the overall trade was is not because we looked at every single report, but we looked at the number of troops that they had die, and then we also looked at the number of troops that they had killed in the sort of info section of their profile. Um, and that was something that Cortex did for us to be able to calculate exactly how many troops did they lose, or kill, actually. Um, both of those things we can get from, from their information. Um, and we can even see the tier of troop that they killed. In fact, if I just pull up those numbers really quickly, they killed. Uh, here they are, the numbers. Boom. About 7 million T4 and 9 million T5 and gained 200 million kill points. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. So I guess the overall trade is that they had 25 million T5 die, um, but they only killed about 16 million troops, and some of them weren't even T5. So the trade is really bad for the defender here, which is kind of impressive when you think about the fact that they're so high power, but they're not online to defend. So once their hospital fills up, I mean, it's GG. In this instance, they've got a Gilgamesh rally. We really liked that they were using Gilgamesh here, but when we looked at the stats on this particular uh, rally, they seemed fairly low for what we would expect from a rally lead, at least in a kingdom that is of the age that we're in. Granted, this is a much younger kingdom, so like you got to take it with a grain of salt. Although there were a few optimizations we noticed, like you know, I will humbly suggest uh, you know, like the commander tab and the city skins. Um, sometimes uh, could you know, we noticed <laughs> you could. Uh, Switch those around to get just a little bit more value. Um, if you're doing a rally like this, you almost certainly want one of your commanders to have health and defense and the other commander to have health. I can see the value of attack kind of ending the fight quickly, but I think what you want to do is fix your trades. But again, like their trading here is going to be perfectly fine. Like that trade that they pulled down here for a city of this power is actually really good. Although when you think about the total Imperium burden that they have reduced here, I mean, it's 20, well, the way that Imperium Burden works, and this is why I paused, is that players over 150 million power count at an exactly 150 million power. So um, that's something that I guess the game does to encourage people to spend more money and not penalize you for having done so. Um, because people, and I should say kingdoms, try to minimize their Imperium Burden for matchmaking purposes. They don't want to have a tough match. That's why this player is getting zeroed right now and not just left alone to disappear, which would happen if they don't log in for 30 days. Although they, you know, there's no guarantee they wouldn't log in for 30 days, right? Now they're down to 189 million power. Oh, by the way, fun fact, 
At one point, I didn't move my screen for long enough that apparently the game stops updating what's on your screen. So the rally finished here, and they dropped down to like 167 million power. And Cortex was like, oh, yeah, another rally finished. I was like, what do you mean? I don't even see any rallies. And I had to zoom out and back in to see what was going on. And this happened a couple times where I just sort of had the screen locked on this one thing, and I wasn't moving the screen at all. And after like 10 minutes of idling the screen, it stops updating, I think, or maybe it was 15 minutes. E either way, I told you this took a really long time to ultimately zero this player. Here's another Pakal combo here. We got the Pakal Herald leading the way. Then it looks like it's double XY. And the secondary is Nevsky on both. I mean, Nevsky just does work on surrounded targets. This city would qualify as being surrounded 3X, which gets you the maximum benefit from Nevsky. Very, very powerful. Gosh, man. So where was I? What was I talking about? Um, we were talking about city garrison captains. We've talked about stats and optimizations, making sure you got the right city theme when you're switching up what commanders you're rallying with. I mean, obviously, you'd want to have a rune before you go and do some crazy thing like this. You'd want to have a king title. Um, so for well, king title, ideally, also general. It's a really great title. Duke, fine title. Um, I mean, this is the sort of stuff you have to do, though, for kingdom matchmaking purposes. So as I was saying, now I remember, over 150 million power still counts as 150 million power total. The grand total Imperium drop for this kingdom would then be the 100 million power that they took off this player, bringing him down to, I mean, maybe maybe it's actually 95 million power. They brought, brought him down to about 55 million power. The rest of that power is just his buildings, his technology, his commanders, and so on. Plus, they lost another, let's call it like 12 million power or so just from their troops <laughs> that they were using in the rallying and the swarming. So the grand total power drop here is in the realm of like 20 plus million power, which is pretty significant. Now they're down to 152 million power. This is going pretty fast at this point. I think I've got a few more rallies that I'll show you, and then I'll just show you the swarm here, and we'll just get a look at that. It's just absolutely nuts, man. Because even at 152 million power, you realize they have done literally zero damage to the Imperium Burden right now. If this player were to come online right now and bubble and heal their hospital, then all of the damage they did to this player would have been for literally nothing because the Imperium Burden would still be the same. Oh, God. That's so nuts. And it seems that they have really locked in on this combo being the one that's really good. They do have a negative title on this player. The minus health, I think, is really great. That's, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what you get for slaves of minus 5% health. Maybe it's, maybe that's a different one that I'm thinking of. But either way, negative title on the player that you're hitting. It's, the only other thing I think you could do if you really wanted to get technical is that you probably could buff your own rallies. This is something that is going to give the players doing it a pretty hefty repair bell. But here's how it works. You would have a player outside of the range of the E-Song AoE, but close enough to your rallies that would do like a, let's say, Joan of Arc and Constantine, right? Or Trajan and Constantine. And you have two of those dueling each other, and that buffs the rallies. But to make that really work, I think in order to guarantee that you hit the rally, see, most people don't know that you can only hit five targets when you do that. So to guarantee, oh, now, now they can't, they either canceled or it burned. Probably just burned. That has to be a burn. Yeah, 137 million power. Yikes, man. 32 million dead troops. Um, the weirdness of area of effect buffing is that I believe your own marches are prioritized. So maybe the way you make this work is you make sure that you have a march in the rally and then a march battling against someone else nearby to try to buff your own rally. Maybe that's how you do it. You just need to be really careful that you don't have any AoE debuffs going. Like sometimes people use Alexander the Great, and while it seems like a cool idea that you might pass a shield to the right place, when you realize that you end up debuffing one of your own kingdom's rallies with all damage taken from Alexander the Great, that's an area of effect ability, making it so that three targets take more damage, that's a big yikes. So with the right marches... Out of range of the city AoE, you could buff. It's just such a pain in the butt. I don't blame them for not doing it. I don't want to do it. 
I wish it didn't even exist. It's just too much of a pain, man. It's too much of a pain. Um, but I guess more of a pain and that they could be doing and they aren't is one troop debuffing. So the way that you would one troop debuff this city is that you'd take you'd have like Devil or one of these other players that's like right on top of this city that they're rallying. Um, do a preset for like Minamoto, who by the way makes us that the there's like a ten percent chance the target takes uh, thirty percent more damage for three seconds, and you use some secondary like Chandra Gupta, who has a debuff that that can be applied, and they are rallying with Chandra Gupta now. They're giving that a try, and you put accessories on there that also have debuffs. Um, maybe you use it. Tamaris is the more likely secondary. It makes the target take more skill damage. And you just spam your presets on the city over and over with literally one troop in it. And you're only having one troop die at a time, but they apply all the debuffs from the march. And so you're not always going to have the all damage from Minamoto, but like one in every 10 hits, that's going to stack. And if you have the last skill of Tamaris actually maxed, then this thing is going to start taking more skill damage. I feel like that's the one thing... I didn't think of it while this was being recorded as they're now dropped down to 121 million power. Yikes. I think I'm going to have the swarming at this point. Yeah. Now they're down a whole bunch. It Another like 45 minutes elapsed since we last watched until it's Cicada is now doing its thing uh, and they're about to get swarmed into oblivion. In fact, I'm guessing 45 minutes, but if you actually look in the upper right, you could see the exact timestamps of when this was all going down. Um, I apparently would need to make the image much larger <laughs> than how I have it on my PC when I'm re-watching this in order to read that off to you. So now I think they're swarming. Now it's more appropriate to swarm, but do you see the Lohar swarming? Tell me you see the Lohar that was swarming there. Like, oh my God. Guys, no, no, no. Don't swarm with Gaius Marius. I know you want the resources, but no. The city has over 50 billion uh, counterfeit resources in it. Like, you don't need to be a part of the swarm on the city with your with your siege march. You really don't. There's, everybody's going to get a lot of resources. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry, I just can't handle it, man. The other thing that I can't handle, and I hope you see this on the screen, and, and like teaching moment if you didn't know this, but when you hit a city like this, and um, or, or a flag, or a fort, or an Ark of Osiris, it's a building, anything more than 12 marches will just run in a circle around the structure because only 12 can hit at a time. And then when it dies, which you're going to see happen in a second, the 12 that we're hitting will go home. But then the marches that we're circling will now automatically start attacking. So if you have a lot of people try to swarm a high power city, then what's going to happen is when the city burns, the 12 marches that we're hitting it run away automatically. And the marches that we're, we're circling start hitting a full health city again. I say full health, and any troops they had die are still dead, but all the slightly wounded troops come back and defend, which for this player, remember, after the first time they were zero, oh, well, after the first time they received a volley of rallies, they had only dropped to 283 million power, and the next time it was like 243 million power. <laughs> so you don't want to be one of the swarmers in that instance. You do want to be one of the swarmers, however, now. Um, this is the point where they're just plundering all the counterfeit resources down to 55 million power. GG, man. Refunding doesn't pay, as it turns out. And if you have somebody approach you with some way to get discounted bundles, like, spoiler alert, it's, it's probably too good to be true. It probably is not a thing that actually exists. And I feel bad for the players that, you know, didn't, like, actually got scammed by somebody who was pretending to be low health customer support or whatever was actually happening here. I think in most cases they weren't, but I don't actually know. But if you want to see more information about the whole refund scamming thing, uh, I'll have a couple videos. Cards will be up in the top. You can see all of its evolution. And I think now we're very much in the cleanup stage. Lilith, I would expect, has a pretty good handle on catching the people that have done that and applying appropriate penalties so at this point, it's just a matter of what's going to happen to all these resources that were plundered. I'll, I'll flash onto the screen if I haven't already. Just a picture of the scout report with all the resources, with all the troops they had in their city. Um, at some point, I'll even put some of the rally reports up on the screen just to give you a sense of how they were going. But generally, the rally reports were 
really good. Like they traded really well. And overall, I mean, they got a pretty good trade. You know, considering that it's a 300 million power player that they were taking down. Not bad, man. If you enjoyed the video, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. It's a little late at night that I'm recording this, but wanted to get the video out. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies.